Hello, today I'm bringing the review of my iMac 27 inch 5K. In today's review, I will talk about the design and the specifications of this iMac, and I'm going to do RAM upgrade from 16 gigabytes to 32 gigabytes. Also, I will talk about benchmarks and feedback about this machine. This is an all in one machine from Apple, and it is my main machine. For the display, as I said, it is 5K display, which is five times the resolution of normal full HD display. This is 27 inch all in one computer and it comes with sharp and ultra thin edges. It is just five millimeters at its edge. Let's have a look to the back of this machine. From the right bottom corner, we have the power button. This is from where you can stop and start your computer. They put it in a very nice place and it is accessible. From the middle, we have this small hole where you can use it to arrange your cabling and connections. To the left side, we have headphone jack, an SD card reader, four USB 3 ports, two Thunderbolt ports, and one Giga Ethernet port. For the specifications of this machine, this is a 27 inch iMac with Retina 5K display, 3.2 GHz quad core Intel Core i5 with turbo boost up to 3.6 GHz. For the RAM, it is 16 GB and I'm doing upgrade today to 32 GB, 1 TB Fusion hard drive, and for the graphics card, it is AMD Radeon R9 M390 with 2 GB video memory. The price is $2,200 and I highly recommend to go for this machine and from there you can start and look for upgrade options. For the RAM upgrade, I don't recommend to do the RAM upgrade from Apple directly because as you can see from Apple website, for the 8GB to 16GB RAM upgrade, they are charging $200 and from 16GB to 32GB, they are charging another $200. This is too much for just RAM upgrade. You can get the same RAM package from Amazon or other places with just 50 to 70 dollars. I checked what is the RAM modules that is compatible with my iMac and I bought it from Amazon. I have inside my iMac two RAM modules, each one eight, eight gigabytes, and I bought another two RAM modules, each one eight gigabytes. This will give me in total 32 gigabytes. From the back of the iMac, there is a small door. This door, they make it to have direct access to the RAM modules. Below this door, there is the power socket and on top of it, there is a small button. This button, if you press it, this door will come out and you will be able to access the RAM module and do the RAM upgrade.
After doing the upgrade, start your Mac and go to about this Mac menu and make sure the new memory already recognized by your Mac. This was successful upgrade to 32 gigabytes of RAM. For this Mac, you can go up to 64 gigabytes of RAM by having each module 16 gigabytes. <laughs> Now let's test the performance of the CPU and hard disk of this computer by starting software called Power Testing Complete. This machine really perform very well if you want more performance you can go for the Apple iMac 27 inch 5k but with i7 processor and SSD hard disk or even if you want the extreme performance you can go for the Apple Mac Pro The iMac from Apple available in two models, the 27 inch model and the 21.5 model. I highly recommend to go for the 27 inch model because it is more upgradable. You can upgrade the hard disk, the RAM and even the CPU. The only thing that is not upgradable is the graphics card. For me, the iMac 27-inch model is the best all-in-one computer in the market. It is the best design and the best performance. When you buy this Mac, you will get the Apple Magic Keyboard 2 and you will have the option to choose between the Magic Trackpad 2 or the Magic Mouse 2. Thanks guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and see you all in the next video.